Portsmouth, England, December 21st, 1872. The HMS Challenger sets out on a three-year scientific expedition to survey the Earth's oceans and search for new marine life. At the time of its departure, the mainstream scientific viewpoint is that life cannot exist more than 1,800 feet beneath the surface of the ocean. But in March of 1875, after more than two years at sea, the crew of the HMS Challenger makes a remarkable discovery. Using a deep sea dredge, they uncover an abundance of life at depths well beyond 1,800 feet. Every time they dredged the waters of the ocean, they kept bringing up weirder and weirder creatures at deeper and deeper levels. It quickly became apparent that the oceans are teeming with life. Throughout time, we tend to sort of um, impose our own limitations and our own perspectives on sort of our view of the universe, right? And so our idea of the deep ocean was similar to that too. We thought that probably nothing else could live at great depths because we certainly couldn't survive. Um, our bodies couldn't take the pressure, sort of biased, I think, our interpretation of life in the deep ocean. They found over 4,700 different types of new life it was a wealth of data so vast that it filled 50 volumes with 30,000 pages of information and was essentially a scientific revolution for its time. It was fascinating that it only was five scientists, uh, 220 plus uh, uh, crew, only five scientists. And only five scientists in about three years, they made oceanography. They made uh, modern science. And the reason for that why they did it is because they blindly go where no man goes before. And this is what scientists should do. Mm -hmm.